Me and mom are headed to Pongo this morning. Mom, you excited? Yeah! <laughs> Do you have your passports? Yeah! Do you? Yeah, I have mine, yeah. Okay, so we got some business we got to take care of, but we're really excited. One of my friends, he actually flies for Samoa Airways. I think he's trying to get on one of our flights either this morning or this afternoon. So it's just a 30-minute trip getting in the airplane this morning at 7.45, and then we're coming back this afternoon as soon as we're done with our stuff. Right now, we're scheduled to get on the 4.30 flight, so we'll be back at like 5.10 or something like that. Pretty quick day trip. We have no idea what we're doing. This is our first time we've ever flown to Pongo from Samoa. We don't have anybody waiting there to pick us up or anything, so we're going to take a cab and all that stuff. It'll be an interesting experience. You worried, Mom? Not at all. Why not? Because it's fun. Adventure peeps. Hi, little lady. You going to miss your daddy? You going to miss your grandma? Yeah. But it's okay. We'll see you this afternoon, okay? Love you. to begin with because there's nothing labeled here. I mean, that's typical for Samoa. You just kind of have to know where you're supposed to go if things don't really get labeled. Like, for instance, I found out the speed limit here is 35 miles an hour. Like, top speed limit is 35 miles an hour. You can't get much faster than that anyway, but interesting that they don't label it anywhere. You just have to know. First, we got into Talofa Airlines. Now we're getting into the right airlines, I guess. Her name is Claire. We went to school together. We live right next to each other's house. Uncle um, Pakamala is her dad. My dad and him are cousins from Hawaii. So fun. This is definitely the smallest plane I've ever been on. It's smaller than the jet that we took to the World Series a couple years ago. It's like four feet tall. <laughs> it's awesome. I guess this is a regular occurrence, but uh, something about weight capacity, so they couldn't put all of our bags in that last plane, so we have to wait for the next plane to land for us to get our bags. But we're only gonna be here for a few hours, so we'll see how that works. So now I just gotta go run over to Samoa Air offices to ask them, can you help me with my bags, please? Because you left them in Apia, Pangali'i, actually. So we'll see. Top 
30 he says we don't really need our bag because it's just an empty bag just in case we need it slash wanted to buy something from here no big deal we got the main things we need anyway i'm gonna find mom though where'd she go oh <laughs> she just let me walk all around Gotta shake it. this car for 100 bucks that's right so we can do things quick and get there exactly where we're supposed to we get to take a bus it'll take forever i don't think you're good at walking on a bus <laughs> that's right okay rental car here we come <laughs> rental cars in samoa are a little different than rental cars in the united states this is not a rental car this is somebody's personal car that they have decided to let us rent we got a full tank. Looks cool. Okay, so driving on the wrong side of the road again, or the right side of the road, I don't know. But it feels funny. But man, is it beautiful here. Man, look at that mountain. Gorgeous. Too bad it's not a great day today. It's a little cloudy, but we make do with what we have. Blue Sky is done. So we have phone access now. Had to buy a new SIM card. It cost five US dollars for the SIM card. Then I had to buy a new data plan, which was $6. Is this my car? Oh. <laughs> yep, mom's in there. I wasn't sure where I parked. <laughs> Getting in some random person's car, that would be really funny. <laughs> I just wanted to go down the list of how much this trip cost us. So far, we bought a plane ticket. And the cool thing about plane tickets here is that they don't really change in price. So if you buy a plane ticket like a month from now, it's going to be about the same price as if you bought the ticket yesterday, which is what we did. We just bought the ticket on Sunday up Pia, which was Saturday here in Pongo. And by the way, it's confusing. You can't buy like round trip tickets because they don't allow you to buy tickets in the past. So even though we leave from Apia on Tuesday, we have to leave from Pongo on Monday and the computer can't compute that because it's in the past. So it's like ixnay on that. So you have to buy two one-way tickets. Buy a one-way ticket from Apia on Tuesday. Buy a one-way ticket from Pongo on Monday so that you get back on Tuesday. Otherwise, you have to spend another day here in Pongo. The ticket from Apia to Pongo costs 530 tala, which is about $210 total. So $105 for each of us. The ticket from here back to Apia costs $85 per person. So it's about $190, $200 round trip. Bags were free, so that was nice. And then we had to buy the $11 SIM card. Oh, we had to rent the car, and the car is $100 for the day. Mom just told me like one of the coolest stories I've ever heard about her and dad and it has to do with this drive here along the coast. This is always like this. This is pretty pretty uh, raucous and, and rough ocean here and this is where people come to go surf and stuff. So my parents, they don't like me to marry the Palangi guy. So they did not like Jim either. The day that we decided we're going to get married so we come here with his friends and they're taking us to the courthouse so that we can get married there. And it's just me and Jim and his two friends. It's a couple. Malangi people. Malangi people from California. Ed and Trudy. Oh, okay. Yeah. So anyway, we come right at where the ocean start, right over there in Muli. This ocean, it's usually like this, but what happened that day, it was like a glass. There was no moving all the way. And there's about a hundred dolphins and there were hopping and diving, going all the way. Kind of like going with the car that we're in. And we get to the courthouse. Jim says, this is an omen that this marriage will be a good one. That's our blessing from that day until he left. So was it a good one? It has been very good. Yep, he was a great dad and probably a better husband. Was you saying something? Because he was a really good dad. Oh, you used to come here and swim and you love it here. Fatu Mafuti. <laughs> Fatu Mafuti. It's Fatu, Fatu and Tuti. Fatu Mafuti. Mm -hmm. And when the Pololos come, this is where we come in. 
catch the pololo. Pololo is disgusting. So I just found out what pololo is the other day. It's coral sperm. And the Polynesians love it. Or some of them hate it. But it only happens like one time through the year. You'll go out in the morning and you have to get it and then you have to bottle it so that you can slurp it up later. <laughs> so gross. Actually, <laughs> actually, you put it in with the luau and it's so good. And aches. We do that. My friend, he asked me if I could help him with his test at college. And he says, do you know a thing called pololo? And I said, oh yeah. And he says, my teacher says that you people eat this thing that comes out of the coral. And I said, what is the thing? He says, it's sperm. And I said, well, yes, we do eat it, but I didn't know it's that. So I'm not going to eat it again. <laughs> <laughs> Digits in my Motorola and I'm speeding like I robbed someone Falling and I'm a whip, whip yeah. yeah Out in Fairfax going hard in the pit, yeah, yeah I still ball in the pit, yeah Something wrong with the picture Something is wrong with the way and I don't know Okay, so we're trying to add my name to the title for the land our family has in Hongo. Grandpa tried to give to me when I was born, but then they wouldn't let him add me because I was a baby so they gave it to mom and now we're trying to add me so we are here at IDF Fair Legal Services to get everything done that we need to get done. Air condition is affirmed. Yes. Why, 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 why you need to lie, 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 something is wrong with the way and I don't know so it's actually really convenient because the Office of Land and Title is right there. And then the lawyer's office that we had to talk to is right there. Just had to go over there and get her to do our paperwork. And she said, oh, we'll be done tomorrow. And I said, ah, oh, we're leaving today at four. Any chance you can do it today? And she said, yeah, we can do it today. Nice lady. But it's gonna cost uh, $250 to get that done today. And it's 250 US, which is a lot. That's like 600 Tala. That lady was really nice. She said, uh, 250 that lady's charging you a lot I said that's what I thought she said it should be like a hundred but at least she can do it today so that's a win why 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 how do you get by 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 this is Bongo. this is where I met Jim first this is where the tsunami came and killed lots of people here and destroyed this whole this is the harbor. I forgot to show you Dad's office. It's right there. We're coming up on Starkist and it stinks bad. Real bad. Oh, like death. So Starkist is a major business here in Pango. They employ a lot, a lot, a lot of Samoans. And if Starkist goes under, there's going to be a lot of Samoans that are looking for jobs. To my friends like that's something that I'm used to I never cash else, I just wanted him to lose you Damn, puffing on that bullshit Uncle Sam's Who'd have thought that he would understand And I just never fall out, I just wanna win I'm in it for the long run, I do this on my fam Something is wrong with the way And I don't know why, 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 why so the saga continues kind of because we weren't able to get everything done that we needed to get done not our fault she said that she can't finish it today she's gonna finish it on like monday or tuesday next week i'm not exactly sure why it's like that they said it's a holiday there's a holiday on friday they're doing other things and i don't know anyway so <laughs> to fly again to come here <laughs> <laughs> oh. so much money we don't know what to do at least mom doesn't have to come so maybe me and alicia will come for a day in a month or two and pick it up all in all people have been helpful i think it's a successful trip yes no yes. not We're successful hungry. okay Wet. feed the beast <laughs> something is wrong with the way and i don't know why
This is a tiny little grocery store in Pongo. Uh, I guess it's about the same size as mine as is. They have a nice mix of Polynesian food, like corned beef, and they also have American food. The fruits and vegetables selection is amazing. This store is awesome. We're gonna have to come back here. First off, I would like to apologize for my out of control bangs. I'm trying to grow them out because bangs do not work with the levels of humidity that exist here in Samoa. Second, Joe went to Pongo Pongo with his mom today. Thinking about it, it's a little funny that I'm here in this country all by myself, just me and the girls. I think part of the reason it's a little funny is because it's so remote from anywhere in the world. It has to be one of the most remote places on the planet. And so like everyone else I know in the world is so far away, even though he's gonna be gone less than he's normally gone for a day of work. It's just still a funny thought to think about that He's in another country and I'm in this country, but I hope he's having a good time. I hope he's getting everything done that he needs to. We've had a good day here. I'm getting the girls now and hopefully they're good for me till he gets home later today. I was very worried that I was gonna have to carry a bag of groceries on the plane. That would have been not easy. But anyway, Samo Airways came through. They got me the empty suitcase we brought so that we can bring back our groceries. Now hopefully our groceries don't get taken by customers. Okay, so we're safely checked in. Oh, Lionel just landed. There he goes. Lionel's on the ground. Good for Lionel. That guy, I'm so jealous of him. He gets to fly from here to Ofu. Ofu. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I always swear. To <laughs> Ofu, is, uh, so Ofu in, in Manua. Manua. And he gets to do it like three or four times a day. So he gets to take off and land so many times. Pretty sweet gig. Run down again. $200 each for the plane ticket, so $400. $100 for the rental car, so $500. $100 at the grocery store, so $600. $250 to switch the title, so $850. $12 to file the paperwork. So altogether, $862 or something like that. But all the paperwork is done. We got to enjoy an awesome day together. Mom and son date. We got to learn a lot more about grandpa and grandma and their early courtship, which was really cool. I hear Lionel. Here he comes. Time to get on the plane. Something is wrong with the way and I don't know why. Why, why, why? Why you need to lie, lie, lie? Something is wrong with the way and I don't know why. home safely thank you alicia and the girls for coming to pick us up the girls are excited to see what has been brought back from american samoa